this is my uh, human uh, physiology unit for um, blood vessel and lymphatic uh, notes. Uh, just dive right into it. Comment, like, subscribe. So there are two types of arteries, elastic arteries and muscular arteries. Uh, there are two types of arteries, elastic arteries and muscular arteries. There are two types of arteries, elastic arteries and muscular arteries. Elastic arteries, um, walls of smooth muscle and elastin expand when pressure of the blood rises. Elastic arteries act as recoil system when uh, ventricles relax. Elastic arteries, walls of smooth muscle and elastin expand when pressure of the blood rises, acts as a recoil system when ventricles relax. Elastic arteries have uh, walls of smooth muscle and elastin expand when the uh, pressure of blood rises and acts as a recoil system when uh, ventricles relax. Muscular arteries are less elastic and have thicker layer of smooth muscle provide greater resistance to flow. Muscular arteries are less elastic and have thicker layer of smooth muscles provide the greater resistance to flow. Muscular arteries are less elastic and have thicker layer of smooth muscle. Muscular arteries provide the greater resistance to flow. Uh, elastic arteries are also closer to the heart and muscular arteries are further away from the heart. Arterioles transport between artery and capillary. Smaller uh, versions of arteries, less smooth muscle and connective tissue. Arterioles transition between an artery and a capillary. S uh, arteries have smaller uh, versions of, or arterioles are smaller versions of arteries. They're less, uh, have less smooth muscle and connective tissue. Arterioles are transitions between an artery and a capillary. Arterioles are smaller versions of arteries they have less smooth and connective tissue. Capillaries, uh, or we'll do arterioles one more time. Transition between artery and capillary. Smaller versions of arteries, less smooth and uh, smooth muscle and connective tissue. Capillaries, small blood vessels, one endothelial cell uh, thick, what kind? Uh, simple squamous epithelium, or uh, the tunica intima. Permits exchange of nutrients and waste. Capillaries permits exchange of nutrients and waste. Capillaries are the smallest of blood vessels. They are one endothelial cell uh, thick, called the tunica intima, or the, made up of simple squamous epithelium tissue. Capillaries permit exchange of nutrients and waste. Capillaries are the smallest of blood vessels. They're one endothelial uh, cell thick. Uh, they're made up of simple squamous epithelium and uh, one cell wall thick, you can call it the tunica intima. Permits exchange of nutrients and waste. Capillaries permits exchange of nu nutrients and waste. Uh, three types of capillaries. Continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, and discontinuous capillary. Three types of capillaries are continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, and discontinuous capillary. Three types of capillaries are continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, and discontinuous capillary. Continuous capillary endothelial cells uh, oh 
but a teacher told us that she wanted us to know the location of these first. So I'll run over the location of these first and last, and then I'll uh, go through them. Uh, continuous capillaries are found in the muscles, lungs, and adipose tissue. Fenestrated capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Continuous capillaries are found in muscle, lungs, and adipose tissue. Continuous capillaries are found in muscle, lungs, and adipose tissue. Continuous capillaries are found in the lungs uh, and adipose tissue and muscles. Fenestrated capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Fenestrated capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Fenestrated glands are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Continuous capillaries, endothelial cells, uh, tightly joined muscle are found in the muscle, lungs, and adipose tissue. Continuous capillaries, endothelial cells tightly joined and continuous capillaries are found in the lung. Uh, muscle, lungs, and adipose tissue. Continuous capillaries, endo, uh, endothelial cells are tightly joined. Continuous capillaries are found in the muscles, lungs, and adipose tissue. Fenestrated capillaries, wide interstellar pores, provides a greater permeability. Fenestrated capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Fenestrated capillaries are wide interstellar pores, have wide interstellar pores, provides greater permeability. Fenestrated capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Fenestrated uh, capillaries have wide interstellar pores, provides greater permeability. Fenestrated Capillaries are found in the kidneys, endocrine glands, and intestines. Discontinuous capillaries have large leaky capillaries. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Discontinuous capillaries have large leaky capillaries. Discontinuous capillaries are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Discontinuous capillaries have large leaky capillaries and they are found in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Discontinuous capillaries, liver, spleen, and bone marrow. That's where they're found. Uh, venous system, uh, venules in veins. Venous system, venules in veins. Venous system, venules in veins. Venous system, uh, oh, venules. Formed when capillaries unite, very porous. Venules. Formed when capillaries unite, very porous. Venules. Formed when capillaries unite, very porous. Veins. Uh, a little smooth muscle or elastin. Ca uh, capacitance vessels contain one-way valves to ensure blood flow back to the heart. Skeletal muscle pump. Uh, the rate of venous return is somewhat dependent on the action of skeletal muscle pumps, skeletal muscle contraction, forcing blood out of the veins toward the heart. Veins, little smooth muscle or elastin. Capacitance vessels contains one-way valves to ensure blood flow back to the heart. Skeletal muscle pump, the rate of venous return somewhat dependent on action of skeletal muscle pumps. Skeletal muscle contraction, forcing blood out of the veins towards the heart. Skeletal muscle, uh, veins. A little smooth muscle or elastin. Capacitance vessels contain one-way valves to ensure uh, blood flow back to the heart. Skeletal muscle pump, the rate of venous return is somewhat dependent on action of the skeletal muscle pumps. Skeletal muscle contraction, forcing blood out of the veins toward the heart. 
lymphatic system, three basic functions. Uh, transports is uh, interstitial tish, uh, fluid back to the blood. Transports absorbed fat from small intestines to the blood, help provide Im immunological defense against pathogens. Lymphatic system, three basic functions are to transport interstitial fluid back to the blood and transport absorbed fat from small intestines to the blood and to help provide immunological defense against pathogens. Lymphatic system, three basic functions of the lymphatic system is to transport interstitial fluid back to the blood the second uh, basic function of the lymphatic system is to transport absorbed fat from small intestines back to the blood. The third uh, basic function of the lymphatic system is to help provide immunological defense against pathogens. Lymphatic system, three basic functions. Uh, the first basic function of the lymphatic system is to transport interstitial fluid back to the blood. The second basic function of the lymphatic system is to transport absorbed fat from small intestines to the blood. Third basic function of the lymphatic system is to help provide immune, immunological defense against pathogens. Immunological defense. Uh, lymphatic system transports interstitial fluid back to the blood, transports absorbed fat from small intestines to the blood, helps provide immunological defense against pathogens. Systemic circulation. Uh, arteries go away from the heart, arteries away from the heart, arteries carry blood away from the heart, arteries carry, away, carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood to the heart, veins carry blood to the heart, veins carry blood to the heart. This goes arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, veins. Arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, veins. Arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, veins, and they're all connected. Uh, uh, the role of the systemic circulation to a uh, direct flow of blood from the heart to the capillaries and back to the heart. The role of the systemic circulation is to direct flow of blood from the heart to the capillaries and back to the heart. The role of the systemic circulation is to direct flow from the blood to the heart uh, to the capillaries and back to the heart. Here's another thing on that. Uh, it goes arteries away from the heart, carry blood away from the heart to the arterioles, arterioles to the capillaries. Arteries uh, are connected to the arterioles that connect to the capillaries that connect to the venules to the, that connect to the vein. Arteries, arterioles, capillary, venule, vein. Artery, arterioles, capillary, venule, vein. Uh, capillary, simple squamous epithelium tissue, capillary simple squamous epithelium tissue, capillary simple squamous epithelium tissue, or tunica intima, artery tunica, or capillary tunica intima, artery, arteriole, capillary, venule, vein. Boom, that's it.